Hello my fellow Realm 2 players, Jonas Nee here and today we are gonna take a look at this replay, the 2v2 replay. So, as you can see, you can see my Abby here, the Abby there, but let's just get into it. Okay, th this replay is a bit fast so I will slow it a bit down. Uh, let's go over my army first. Um, I have two African war elephants, one militia hoplite, one hoplite and one fierce spears. Then I have five Rodian slingers and one mercenary credum. As for cavalry, I think I have two Aspis companion and four Hellenic, yeah, four Hellenic royal cataphracts. Oh. Well, cavalry, sorry. Um, so a relatively skirmish heavy army, and as you can probably already see, I already did the mistake of deploying in the forest like a noob. Basically, my army would be better off fighting here. Anyways, let's go for my allies' army, which is by the way here. Um, he has four mercenary Iberian cavalry. Not particularly good units, but he has them, two on each side. Then he has two African Elephant, again one at each side. One Nobler Carry. Two Laker Unions on each side, so four in all. Then he has five African Bikemen. Two Mercenary Balearics and two Lipian Javelin Men. And our Egyptian opponent, by the way, our opponent was uh, Owen and Hindre. That's what I'm, that's just what I'm gonna call him. It's simpler for me that way. Anyways, the Egyptian of them has one chariot, maybe two chariots, if I'm if I'm not mistakenly. Then he has six Galatian royal guards, two African war elephants. And yeah, I think that's it for him with the expression of these cable arches. Uh, then I think he has a couple of Ptolemy carriers somewhere. For the Macedonian, he has a javelin man over here. Not really sure what they're for, but they're there. And he has three companion carry. And in the forest, he has basically a lot of shield. Shield bearers at Royal Peltast. So, yeah, that's it for the arms. Let's just go into double speed. I was just scouting with my carry, which is actually the thing I found out about the Epirus. They are a really, really good carry nation. They are probably the best carry nation, to be quite honest. Anyways, I charge this Scythe chariot. Uh, right after his cavalry archers. These scythe chariots, I've. Did, by the way, the replay is quite corrupted. I think in the real battle, these guys actually ran this way and killed like 20 of my guys or something. But it's still not noticeable enough, I think. So he came in with his war elephants, which really breaked up my. General units. <laughs> Not really sure why I use my general, but it lacked so much that I couldn't think. Over here, here he's gonna charge in his African war elephants. They're gonna get a pretty good charge, but there are quite a lot of Galatians here, and it doesn't really help that he's shooting into his own elephant unit. Over here, I'm yeah, this is also kind of corrupted. In the real battle, they were kind of in this big club and that I just came in from all the sites. So again, the results are gonna be exactly what happened in the real game. So over here, I got my mercenary elephants to run into the backs of these guys in the hope that I could break some of them. It didn't really turn out that way. General came in and I thought, ah, why not charge the general? 
because normally it fits red carry. You saw it before with my carry, but over here it's quite opposite. I mean, I do kill a few of them, but compared to the cars, the E has much more cost effective engagement. But I have another elephant, so I'm charging that in. Over here, I'm trying to keep his companion carry away from my skirmishes. Of all the things I don't want to die, I don't want my companion. I don't want my skirmishes to die because that's the entire army of mine, which is the carry oriented. It's just skirmishes and then a bit of protection for them. Or delaying forces, or what you want to call them. Over here, my African elephants died. And the Ptolemy carry. The speed of the Iberian carry. They did get a fair few number of kills compared to how bad they actually are. But not enough to really be cost effective though. Over here. Elephants drive through apparently. Uh, yeah. This carry unit didn't actually ever engage this African unit in the real game, so these guys were just hunting these guys. And I'm pretty sure these two carry units were dead long ago. Over here though is very accurate. My elephants did charge into the bag and routed three of escalations. As for the rest of the fight, my elephants here. Oh, here's elephants. Just in. Got a fair few number of kills. Um, but yeah. Also, these elephants, they actually did reach over to here and they killed a few guys. I don't really know. But yeah, as you can see, replays really corrupted still. Over here, my hoplites are just taking the ground doing what I wanted them to, which is basically be suicide forces. Skirmishes on the other hand are beginning to take their toll on the enemy units. I still had like two thirds of the ammo left when the game ended, so it's not that I was wasting ammo and firing into the woods. I mean, yeah, kinda, but eh, didn't really change anything. Uh, in the real fight, I'm pretty sure that all of these units over here had routed by now. This Ptolemy carry. Yep. Anyways, as you can see, we moved our infantry and our skirmishers over here to just try and pull them down. These militia hoplites seem to have done a lot better in this game than what they did in reality. I'm pretty damn sure I didn't get 90 kills with my militia. So yeah, you can see it pretty much ended with me in here on top. I think he got like a hundred more kills or something but I got 150 less losses, so fairly equal. As for here, I'm charging in my carry. Uh, in the real battle, these guys were turned against my carry unit because I didn't wipe it out, that's what you're gonna see here. Yeah, I wish sometimes that I had the blood pack, but we just kill performance. But as you can see, my rearing tides did fairly good. A hundred plus kills on each at least. And here comes it with a counter charge from behind. Oh, back charge. Thirty kills. Hmm, decent. Kept these guys busy with these late hoplites. Yeah. Hoplites aren't really that useful in this patch anything but soaking up missile fire. As you can see my missiles actually got fairly good kills. Uh, 
uh, considering it, that I fought in the forest instead of other open blade like what I should have done. I don't know why I'm so stupid, but I am. Anyways, it ended there, so hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time.